Alright. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Back to our Fire Emblem 6 randomizer. We are on the first Gaiden chapter. Uh, which is exciting, although this chapter is pretty boring to be honest, but... Uh, so last time we looked at the boss who is, yeah, this Nomad and Henning. He doesn't have two range, so I don't think he's going to be that hard to kill. Um, and this thing weighs him down a million, so... But yeah, obviously those stats are kind of incredible. <laughs> hey, Zero, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, let's see if anybody else has anything interesting. I've looked at killer bows. Uh, they look pretty weak. Five might's pretty low. I think I've seen all the rest of this. Horseslayer? Okay. Oh, that's right, the horse is ridiculous in this. Yeah, 21 might. We don't really have any cavalry, though, so I'm not too worried about that aspect of it. Some good timing for every six, is it? Welcome, Hala. Welcome. Hey, Flame. Welcome, welcome. If he's seven rando, is kicking my ass. Yeah, if he's seven rando, can be really tough. Can be a really tough. <laughs> what a garbage game! I'm getting the heck out of here, <laughs> dude. That was so weird last uh, yesterday. Bro, I don't know what that guy's deal was. <laughs> Oh, man. I was playing, you know what's funny, I didn't play Overwatch last night, but I was playing some other, another game with some friends, and I told them about that. <laughs> so what a weirdo, man. What a weirdo. Um, okay, who do we want? We don't need a thief. Um, they're clearly not a girthy gamer, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Everyone else kind of sucks. There really isn't anyone else to train, unfortunately. Hey, Lord Genesis, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, and there's no one to bring to recruit or anything? Maybe I, sh I don't want to bring Chad. I don't want him to die. I guess I'll just bring Wendy. She at least can offer a little bit. Actually, Clarine can deal a little bit of damage. Maybe I should just bring Clarine. As bad as she is, 9 attack with this uh, this good Iron Bow is actually like kind of good. Oh, that's right. We got we have this infinite uh, short bow, so I may as well give that to Yodel. Uh, oh, we're bringing Klein as well. Mm. I guess I'll bring Wendy instead of Klein. Klein is also pretty like useless. I don't think it matters too much. I mean, the chaff we're bringing to this chapter don't really matter. It doesn't really matter. So I'm probably gonna promote Bartry, but we'll see. Lot also, we found a promotion item for him, didn't we? Unless I'm misremembering. We did, yeah. I think it's pretty likely I promote him as well. Cause he gets a lot of experience. My only viable damage. <laughs> Yeah, that sucks. I hate it when, like, it's low might. That that seems really boring to me. Iron Sword to Theo. She does have an Iron Sword, yeah, but good call. She definitely needs that. Oh, <laughs> my bad. I'm glad you guys said something, because I definitely would have started the chapter with the Year's Crest on him. Uh, okay, do you do I have any backup fluxes, or is that it? I have Eclipse. I mean, you can have it. <laughs> I don't know how much it's going to do, but... Um, I don't think there's any reason to give him the Orion's Bolts. Yeah, okay, so I'll break down the team really quick, um, for anyone who forgot or hasn't been here for this. So, our Lord, doesn't really matter, has cap defense, but he's not very useful. Bartry is insane and is going to promote here. His, uh, strength and, uh, HP kind of blows, but he's really, he's really nuts. Name is really nuts too, but we don't have a Guiding Ring yet, and we also can't buy Dark Magic yet. So, she will be insane, but not quite yet, I think. Uh, Green's our only healer still. We really want another healer. So, Guiding Ring for Nime would go a long way uh, in improving that. Obviously, these stats are bizarre, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And then yeah, we have a Dancer. Lot, who's pretty much a typical, like, knight. And he's going to become a general, so. Now, I think he has four movement, but I think old generals 
have eight movement. So I think he's gonna go up to eight when he promotes, which is gonna be nuts. Eclipse sweep. <laughs> Eclipse, uh, Eclipse looks pretty terrible, but bolting sweep I think is more likely if we can get somebody that can use it. And then yeah, Yodel's also really good. Obviously, cap defense is wacky, but he has a okay strength and a good, really good speed level or uh, growth. So he's gonna end up being really good. And also this Brave Bow is ridiculous. It has three range, tons of might, it's nuts. And then this short bow sucks, but it's infinite, which is cool. Uh, and then Thea, this is a character we just got. This is the Wendy replacement and has ludicrous growths. Like she's already gotten plus two speed once. Her growths across the board are absolutely nuts. We unfortunately lost Alan, who's a Mer uh, Myrmidon with nuts growths, which stinks, but we have this good replacement in Thea, so I'm excited about her. And yeah, Clarion and, and Wendy are just kind of good like filler units, but that's where our team is at the moment. Journals are good. Yeah, they just need eight movement, and then they're nuts. Kugan won't be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I'll try to get as much for Thea. I think Thea will still get a lot because she's only level four. Um, but yeah. Bartree does have a Hero's Crest, yeah. Bartree does not have a Hero's Crest. Okay, I'm glad you said that. I could have sworn he did. Did I take it off him? I think I actually might have just taken it off. Wait, who is it? Oh, E. Green has the... Oh, that's right, because I didn't want it to get stolen. Yeah, okay. That was smart. I'm glad you mentioned it. Hey, Rabbit. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, how strong are these guys? Steel Sword, Iron Sword. <laughs> Male Shaman, Female Shaman. Okay, a lot of mages up there. You have good res, right? Ten, it's not terrible. All right, I'd like to get Lot to promotion, and I'd like to get the experience. Those are my two... The two things I want here. Right, let's do it. Actually, lock going this way might be better because he can fight those. Does he have? He has good res, right? Yeah, 15 res is crazy to go with 17 defense. Yeah, I'm excited for that too, Vin. Really excited for what uh, fur and uh, I think we saw fur. Fur, shoot, who was fur? Because Elfin is Noah. Who was Elfin talking to? I can't remember. I can't remember if we saw their class or not. But yes, I'm also really excited about that. Uh, which we'll find out in the next chapter. Oh, you can't even get to me. Okay, I'll just kill this guy. Oh, I turned off the animations. I should probably turn that back on. Yeah, the nice thing is lots of soldiers, so he still gets pretty good experience. So I think it's possible that we can promote him here. How strong are these mages? Thunder's really weak. Fire is slightly stronger. Yeah, it should be good. So just do this. Hand axe. Oh god, that movement is so ridiculous. Seven res. I don't remember if they move or not. Let's just let's just be careful here. Let's just be careful for a turn. Yeah, the movement of mages is insane. I don't know what I don't know how much uh, movement sages are going to have, or uh, not druids. Yeah, druids. Yeah, because we haven't seen either of those yet, so I don't know what that's gonna look like. But hopefully, it's not too crazy. We'll see. I guess one damage. Yeah, I think I can take one damage. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, this is bad. You think she can dodge? That's bad. I, I just said their movement was crazy. Yeah. Well, it's a good kill for Thea, at least. <laughs> oh, man. Rough. Yeah, Ray is Sue. Oh, blurry camp? Oh, good, good call out. Very blurry. No! Oh, fuck. Fuck. Good call on the cam. Bro, I just can't with the thieves. I just can't. No, that's so bad. I didn't bring a thief to re-steal the knight's crest. Oh, that's so bad. No. It looks like she's a thief. Okay, that could be good. Oh, that's so bad. 
should have realized it. I should have realized it. That's my bad. Oh man, that's our only Knight's Crest, obviously. Well, it looks like we won't be promoting him. Man, why didn't I? Oh, why didn't I bring the thief? I didn't think about re-stealing. I should have brought the thief. I was just worried about bringing the thief because if they, if they, there's a chance that they die, and I really didn't want to lose our thief, obviously. No, that's so brutal, man. That's so brutal. We have to hope for another Knight's Crest now. Uh, no. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Uh, that might be one of the saddest things I've ever witnessed in a Fire Emblem game, <laughs> genuinely. Oh, no. Uh, there are, like, there are secret shops we can potentially have access to and, uh, and other things, but... Ah, uh, that's so sad. That's alright, that's alright. It's okay, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Just like whack this guy a little bit. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, not not kill, just whack. Okay. Here's Chris's. <laughs> this is why I should not be putting them on those units. I should just bring a thief just in case, just at all times. Okay. Are there any more thieves in the chapter? There is it. Yes, there is a thief here. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have to be cognizant of that. Give with thieves. I know, I know, Lord Genesis, I know. I know, I just can't. I just, I'm so bad with it. I should, what I should really do is just always bring our thief. So at the very least, I can, I can steal back. At the very least, I can steal back. Okay, just chill for a second. Actually, do the, uh, the infinite. Oh, it only has 63 hit? Okay. <laughs> it's one more secret. <laughs> oh man, that's so that's so unfortunate. If there's one thing I've learned from these Iron Mans, it's be extremely careful with uh, with the stupid thieves on these maps. Well, that's not in danger, right? I don't think so. Oh, look at this unit. Wouldn't it be cool if we could promote him? Wouldn't, he be, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, we should be alright. I was so excited too, because I really do think he's going to get to 8 movement once he promotes to a general, which obviously would be just huge. Damn. I know, he would have gotten all that defense, he would have gotten to 8 movement, oh, it would have been so sick. would have been so sick. Uh, it, that actually really stinks too, because we don't have a ton of, like, good units. Like, other than Bartry, like, Yodel's okay, but he's an archer, and he's not that strong yet. Nime's okay, but I really don't have, like, magic for her. Dia still needs a little bit of time, so, like... Promoting Lot would have been so useful because, um... Uh, because it would have given me, like, another unit that I can go to. And Lot will still be good, don't get me wrong. Like, we could still go to Lot. Uh, but... Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely not a good situation. That I have put us in. Uh, don't want to dance. What, 18? Don't have any res. What's my res? 12, that's probably fine. Well, everybody can get to me. No, maybe not. Okay, everybody just avoid the thief. Let her come to us and then we'll kill her next turn, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Yeah. He should get the, the huge defense buff when he promotes, which I'm really excited for. Obviously. Okay, just go here so I can heal next turn if I need to. Sure. Oh, that's so sad. Oh man. That's one of the that's one of the more brutal things I've I've had happen. Yeah, 
It's it's like extra sad too because there's no guarantee, obviously, that like we'll even see another Knight's Crest in this playthrough. I mean, I assume we will, right? I assume we have a thief now. We get to open chests. There's a lot of items in FE uh, FE6, but we really don't know for sure. So it's it's just yeah, such a bummer. But it's okay. That is okay. I'm sure Shin or Fur is gonna be ridiculously good next chapter. Maybe they'll even be a flyer, that would be really cool, because we have that Elysian Whip that I have yet to uh, find anybody for. So that would be pretty cool. Should probably just kill this guy and then we're and then we're good, because nobody else can really hurt me. We have an extra Orion's Bolt, because we have two. One of course is for Yodel, and then I... Unless I'm mistaken, I believe we do have an, El an Elysian Whip. That's obviously just, you know free at the moment because we don't have anybody that can use it so hopefully we can find a wyvern or a pegasus knight that would be super cool and be off to the races in that regard can you find the member card yeah although so when we played fire emblem 7 even when i used the randomizer um the member card was still on the unit that it was on like normally you know so i don't know this for sure of course but I think there's a pretty good chance the member card will still be on uh, What's-His-Face, which is obviously where you find it normally. Now, I could be wrong about that, but I am quietly optimistic that that's the case. But he still has it? Yeah, exactly. Which, I think there's a good chance that he does, but... But I, I don't know. Time, time will tell on that, for sure. I'm basing this strictly off of our, our uh, experience with Fire Emblem 7, so... Like, because when you played Fire Emblem 7 as well, not only was the member card the same, but the uh, um, silver card was also the same, right? It was on um, uh, the boss that it was supposed to be on. So my assumption would be that the silver card and the member card are on the same, uh, the same things in this game, even after randomization. But I could be wrong about that. Now the good news is, when you get the member card, which is the Douglas chapter... I believe the secret shop that's available right there and then on that chapter does have promotion items. Normally I buy a million, um, Seraph robes, or Angelic robes, whatever they're called in this game. But... Let me see... Secret shop... Yeah, you can buy any promotion item you want. And the silver card's available in that chapter, hypothetically, so... It is chapter 16, we're still pretty far away from chapter 16, but... I do think there's a pretty good chance that that'll be the case. But we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, how many kills can I get for... Young Athea here? That's the quest, that's always the question. He makes you strong. Actually, you're probably pretty good at this, yeah, with your girth lands. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's a good point, Vin. That's one of the great things about this game. It has a huge cast, and it has a ton of chests. And villages. So there are a ton of opportunities for new, uh, for promotion items. The thing that I'm slightly worried about as well is... Even if we find another Knight's Crest, if we find a unit that wants a Knight's Crest, it could end up being a bummer, but... Oh wow, I want... Sh yeah, sure, do that. <laughs> that sounds good to me. But, that unit might not come until later, and we may have access to the Secret Shop at that point, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that situation. The Shortbow's some ass. We're gonna have to get to a Sniper and get some more skill if we're ever gonna use that thing. <laughs> It is pretty atrocious. Get more skill. Okay, so... Well, we'll find out when we get to the boss. There's no reason to look at it yet, I think. So you're just gonna attack my archer, that's fine. This is another thief we have to worry about. Thankfully the thieves don't have a lot of movement, so it's pretty easy to avoid them. I say that after, obviously, doing what I did. <laughs> but, hypothetically... Sure.
be funny if he somehow goes to K. Actually, I do want to go to K because um, one of our so the Marcus death um, was uh, the Zealot replacement, which means if we want the good ending, we can't go um, Ilya. So the plan at the moment is to go to K. Also, the Lance death on the death counter was the Thania replacement. Um, so even if I wanted to go Ilya, I would have to train Thea, but we'll see what Shin looks like. I'm curious how nightmarish... Now, I will say this. Um, the Gaiden chapter, where the, uh, the platforms keep going up and down from the water, there are, like, multiple bolting users on this ch on that chapter. Um... I guess they could get randomized to they'll probably get randomized to something that can't use bolting. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, that's not as scary. I was thinking if they had... Because for anyone that doesn't know, Bolton got randomized to have 52 uses or something in this. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> we actually have two copies of it at the moment. Um, but yeah, I guess they'll probably get randomized to something that can't use bolting, right? So we don't have to worry about that. I was thinking that chapter was going to be an absolute nightmare, but maybe it won't be so bad. But if we do if we do ever find any enemy with bolting, not going to be not going to be able to bait it out, that's for sure. Eclipse, Eclipse is pretty ass, but it actually has uh, 12 usage, so that can be annoying to bait out, and then I have no clue what purge looks like. We have yet to see purge obviously, so that one's kind of up in the air, as far as that's concerned. For Bolting a Beast? Yes, that would be amazing. Or Fur, to be honest. And maybe she just has, like, good growths or something. But yes, that would be outstanding. Mage is probably the number one thing I'd like to find at the moment to abuse the Bolting. Mage or another healer, which can be obtained just through a, a Guiding Ring. That would be amazing. Really want to find a guiding ring. And we've yet to see one, so. She's a thief. Oh, that's right. You said, yeah, you said it was Cat the Thief. Yeah, that's a good point. Unfortunately, thieves can't promote. Really wish the randomizer could, like, fix that in some way. It'd be pretty cool, but. Like, maybe add an assassin class or a rogue class or something, but yeah. Oh, she keeps skipping. Is her strength growth maybe not the best? Oh, actually, I should bring up the, uh... We're gonna want the spoiler log for next chapter, so I should just bring that up right now. In preparation. Oh, her strength growth is only 44%. Okay, it's actually not that good. I mean, 44 is still fine. She's gonna end up, you know, strong. But I, I thought her, like, offensive stats were all nuts. Let me get the Vulnery off you, just so it doesn't get stolen, not that that's that big a deal. I'm assuming you can fight this guy. Yeah, he's just an Iron Sword. <laughs> it's funny how little movement those units have. It is so bizarre to see a dancer uh, that can rescue, because a, a dancer can never rescue. Yeah, exactly. Th thieves, like like I said, there are unit types that I'd rather have, but thieves are not bad to have. We do have one, but this is an Iron Man, of course, and if that thief dies, we are we are gonna desperately want a new one. So not gonna complain about getting another one for sure. Shift thief promotions. Yeah, if they ever remade this game, I think they'd probably add thief promotions. It'd just be nice to be able to, you know, especially in a randomizer, because you never know what you're gonna, you know, what you're gonna get. It'd be nice to be able to have thief promotions, but not the end of the world. You can attack whoever you want. No more thieves, right? Oh, there is one thief. I believe this guy doesn't move, but I could be wrong about that. There's a handful of uh, units on this chapter that just don't move. I assume, like, even though the randomizer has obviously changed the enemy types, stuff that like doesn't move, I think is. Like, that kind of stuff, I don't think it's randomized. That would be funny if it randomized who moved and who didn't. <laughs> Might be a little wacky. 
Now, I will say, one of my plans for the, the killing of this boss was to utilize Promoted Lot. We obviously don't have access to that anymore. I think we're probably still okay, but... Oh, speaking of not moving, that Archer doesn't move. I would assume this guy does. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, Yoder, Yoder can be good. Yoder is, Yoder is my plan at the moment for killing the boss. Because he has that uh, that brave... And the boss doesn't have range at all. And he has the brave, uh, the brave bow. But I don't know exactly how it's going to look. Because the boss might have a decent amount of a void. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think so too, but... Little, little worried. The good news is that the boss's currently equipped an item weighs him down by like seven or something, so it ruins his avoid quite a bit. Okay, she finally got res. Her res growth is actually like I think in the forties or something. Yeah, it's forty-five. So it's kind of crazy that she's she's whiffed on seven level ups of res. <laughs> That's okay. I'm sure she'll get she'll get some more later. This guy I don't think moves, and even if he does, he has a steel bow, which are is one of the worst items in the entire game, so I'm not really worried about it. We also potentially have Nime. Um, she's another option. Hey, Jeff, I'm here while you're live. Welcome, Justin. Welcome. Thanks for the follow as well. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. If you, if you missed earlier, I unfortunately... Uh, I got our Knight's Crest stolen by uh, a thief, which is kind of just par for the course of how I uh, of how I play this game. I can't sub. No, I I don't have any like anything like that set up. I think I could if I wanted to, but um, I appreciate that you want to, but no, I don't have anything like that. Don't worry about it. Just just chill. Just hang out. By Flux for Pornemia. I know, the, the dark magic uh, situation's rough. We've been pretty lucky with how much, like, extra dark magic we've gotten, but... Yeah. <laughs> it was filthy rich and doesn't want our money. <laughs> I probably should, right? The only reason I... the only We've talked about this before. The biggest reason that I didn't want to do it was because it would add... Well, ads. Um, and I just didn't... I don't know. I feel like that'll just be annoying. Maybe I should. I don't want people to get ads, you know? I just want people to enjoy the content. Although I suppose if they sub, they don't get ads, that's the point. But... Dream videos for so much, just waiting for Lunatic Conquest. <laughs> she buying a house? I'm not buying a house, no, one of the, I think it was, I can't remember who it was, somebody was, somebody had bought a house. Just get a Patreon? I could do that, maybe I should just, maybe I should just do the partner thing and well, it's cool that you've been watching the videos. I happy about that. I was wondering about the YouTube content because obviously people hang out in the stream, and I really appreciate that. Love streaming, but you know, I upload all the all the vods to YouTube, and I always wonder if people actually enjoy them. So it's it's always really cool to hear that people actually like the content. I try to make more edited stuff, but I don't know, not as much as I'd like. But that's cool that I appreciate you uh, saying the nice stuff. Only pants. Won't you get part of the hustle be on the way? Uh, is it true? That'd be pretty dope. I took a house. No complaints. I should probably do it. I should probably do it. Let's see. Watching you fail is a true joy. Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm very glad. And it's great for me. Like, I, I love doing this stuff. Like, to me. Obviously, I love Fire Emblem and playing it for forever, and I'll, I'll continue to play it whether I stream or not, but or upload to YouTube. But there's something about experiencing it with other people. The fails, the wins, you know. It's just, I like it. It's fun. It is fun. Oh, seems like a bit overkill. But. These randomized ones, too easy. Too easy, like, with the Iron Man? I feel like I've, uh, I mean, that's part of why I buffed the enemies, because I, I would agree. Although this this one's been kicking my ass, to be honest. And we did fail that FE7 one. 
I think the thing about the randomizers is that it's really easy to get units that are really, like, broken. So that's why I decided to, uh, to buff the enemies. But, but I am really excited to do Conquest uh, Lunatic at some point. Um, after this run, we'll, we'll, we'll do Shadow Dragon, and then we'll, we'll go from there. To a broken-ass swordsman. Oh, I guess, I didn't think about this, but yeah, I guess if you're watching on YouTube, I think YouTube is one or two parts behind. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, yeah, the, the Brave Bow, uh, there was a Brave Bow Archer on, um, the previous chapter, and the Brave Bow obviously has three range, and I just... I didn't, my mind didn't realize that he was going to be attacked by the Brave Bow guy, and it was too much for him. What about FE7? FE7, um, the pent replacement, that one's actually on YouTube if you want to check it out, but, um, the pent replacement on the desert chapter was really bad. Like, he literally died turn one. And so then I, then I was kind of thinking... Well, I could just reset and not treat it as an Iron Man, but the problem, like, it, he was so bad that I I don't think there was, even if I had reset a hundred times, I don't think we were going to be able to get out of that chapter. And he was a paladin, so he had, like, no movement in the desert. It was really unfortunate. That's actually why I switched to, um, uh, to FE6, so we wouldn't have to worry about a terrible pent, uh, ruining our playthrough. Did you get to Bartree? No, no. I I realized at the last second I just checked. He's he's one short. I think he doesn't move. I'm pretty sure that unit doesn't move, but no, he can't get to Bartree. I actually meant to go watch our because my old randomizer of FE7, which we actually did complete, um, is all on YouTube, and I, I meant to go back and watch it. Because we got through both that and Battle Before Dawn. I have no clue how I did it. I guess not buffing the enemies is helpful, but... I really actually wanted to check out how the hell I did it. Battle Before Dawn would have looked like... Oh, man! Yeah, I meant to... Shoot, I meant to, um... I got rid of the spoiler log because I'm stupid and I keep overwriting it. But I meant to look on the spoiler log and see, like, what Jafar would have looked like. I'm just going to kill this guy with Bartree so I can't get stolen. Yeah, we'll never know what, uh, what Battle Before Dawn would have looked like. That is a good point. I meant to, I really wanted to check the whole spoiler log, but that stream ended up being so weird because I, I spent like the entire team, uh, the entire stream like trying to figure out how to randomize FE6 or what, whatever we were doing. But yeah, I should have, I should have checked in retrospect. I definitely should have checked. You don't have an armor slayer or anything. No, I'm not worried about you. No offense, friend. I should check the spoiler log more on the failures. It's fun to see what we would have ended up with. Yeah, I think actually somebody somebody commented on uh, on the I think it was the last part of FE seven on one of the parts that was there was talking about something slightly different that I could do. I think if I did FE seven again. Well, for one thing, I suppose if I ever did FE7 again, I could just check the spoiler log immediately and make sure that Pent was strong enough to have a chance of surviving. Um, and then I think I think there's also a way to make him make the replacement not quite so bad. I don't know. We can maybe do some unique stuff if we ever run back uh, FE7, but the sacred stones in this game are obviously a lot more smooth to to do randomizers because you don't have to worry about that. Thea, by the way, despite the fact that she refuses to get strength and resistance, she's up to 12 defense with 25 HP, which which is pretty good bulk, to be honest. That's not that far away from where uh, where Alan was, to be honest, even in the end, so... She's looking pretty darn solid. Yeah, it's weird how unlucky she's gotten with that res. That's eight levels now she's gotten one res. Even though her growth is, like, north of 40%. <laughs> but, it's okay.
Yeah, exactly, Wheelie. That that's the other problem, right? Even if you look and you see that Pent seems like pretty reasonable, yeah, if it's just if he spawns next to a bunch of people with uh where he doesn't have, you know, where his weapon triangle disadvantage, it, it could just not matter at all. Okay, so this guy's an armor slayer. He gets weighed down by how much? Six, I think? Yeah, so that means 13 speed. As long as I don't get doubled, that's the only thing. Oh, she has 17 speed. Yeah, she literally can't be doubled by an unpromoted unit. Never mind. The boss killed the bar tree. We can see what it looks like, but I, with weapon triangle disadvantage, I'm not sure. But we, we'll definitely see what the boss looks like with everybody. Uh, how close is bar tree to, uh, to that promotion? 52 experience? Yeah, it's not crazy. I mean, the Iron Axe actually has pretty good hits, so I, and he does have capped skill, so it's not unreasonable, I think, for him to potentially get the kill. Actually, yeah, if you... Hold on. Yeah, this is actually kind of perfect. If you want to come fight me... Yeah, yes, high luck. That's a good point, too. We'll see. We'll check it out. We'll see what everybody can look like against the boss. We shall see. Oh, I double. That's great. That is great. Oh, the the guy. Yeah, this is normally. I believe this is normally an air caliber uh, mage, if I'm remembering correctly. I guess I could dance for you. How much movement? Yeah. I'm telling you, I know I mentioned this a million times, but extremely high move dancer is, oh man, just one of, one of the most amazing feelings you can have in Fire Emblem. Absolutely love it. It's like I didn't even have to put the boots on her, she just had it. Well, I might be one short of killing. What do you, do you have a, a steel? Yeah, the steel axe is really terrifying. Oh, you can't even get to me if I go here. Okay. What's my hit? Oh, 100? I mean, I won't get doubled. Maybe that's okay. Yeah. Wait, let me make sure I don't get one shot. <laughs> 35 attacks a lot, yeah. <laughs> Pretty close, actually. <laughs> Closer than you might think. Steelaxes are very strong. Res 2? There we go. With eight move dancer ray. Well, this so Estal has eight move. That's why he's so insane. Also five strength for some reason. So five move Bartholina. We haven't we haven't gotten that far. We haven't got another. Uh, but yeah, eight move. Uh, eight move dancer. Also, thirty HP with eleven defense and thirteen res. He's actually really bulky too. Yeah, we've had to him since the beginning. Though he's been so nice. Oh my goodness. The most beautiful dancer, indeed. I'm a huge proponent of uh, of boots dancing, boots, boots dancing, boots dancer, whatever you want to call it, uh, in like vanilla Fire Emblem. So having one that just like, actually, it's better than pre-made boots because I believe dancers only have five minutes. So yeah, look at that hit. That's crazy. Axes are terrifying. Not only do they have good might, but they have good hit too. That's why that, you know, that hit was 51, which seems a bit high. Can I give you tape dancers some high quality foot rare? Exactly. Very true, very true. Treat them. Alright, what do we look like here? It's not terrible. Unfortunately, my, my hit's gonna go down a lot, and I won't double once he switches to the Slim Sword. I mean, he also won't be able to deal any damage to me, but... That's not terrible. We can get started here. Oh, he's a female uh, Nomad Trooper. Cool. <laughs> I wonder if the boss will switch. Three might. Because I don't think... I don't think he'll damage me, so I wonder if he even will switch to the other weapon. Like, the, I think the AI will probably just stay with the Steel Blade. Yeah, that's a good option, Vin, but I honestly think he'll just stay with the Steel Blade. 
Because I don't think the AI will... The Slim Sword won't deal any damage, so I doubt the AI wants to use that. Hmm, I thought that'd be more. Well, whatever. I could be wrong. We'll find out. We'll find out, uh... I love that the little character model has a bow, even though, uh... Yeah, see? I think if the Slim Sword had dealt, like, any damage, but... No damage, I think, though. Yeah, Marcher's defense is ridiculous. I wonder if... How much experience do I have? I wonder if I can give the kill to... Yodel, but also get the level for... Because I think I only need to do two more. 74. Maybe I need to do more. Yeah, just give it to Bartry. This isn't that big of a deal. And that is a good call, promoting for next chapter. You need three, yeah. We could sit here and do it and let him heal, but whatever. Whatever, not that big a deal. Okay. I'll take strength. Alright, let's promote Bartry before we head out, because you can't do it in the convoy. And also, this means that we won't get stolen. First promotion, yes. This is the first promotion in the playthrough. Plus 4 HP is super nice. Oh, we only get one more constitution? I was kind of hoping the constitution would go up a little bit more. So the Brave Axe wouldn't weigh him down so much. <laughs> he has capped defense and capped skill as a level 1 Berserker. I don't think there's- look at that strength, that's crazy how low his strength is. I don't think there's any way his strength will get there, but that's okay. Um, okay, let's get out of here. Not a bad trap chapter. I wonder if the Durandal is randomized. Obviously us getting it wasn't, but... Oh, Narshan is still a, uh... Is, is that Cecilia? Is Cecilia a... Or no. <laughs> I love this Motley crew. Look, there's like a female Swordmaster down there. Wait. Oh, interesting. So, so Percival's a... Uh... Okay, so Percival's a sniper and... The, uh... Um, Cecilia is Echidna, who's a sage. Interesting. That is very interesting, actually, because it means that we will get a sage later. What a man. It's been really randomized to fit your lord. Um, what do you mean by randomized to fit your lord? Uh, I think this is randomized, right? I think there's no way... There's no way that the Durandal has 10 might normally, and 15 uses is less than it normally has. Oh, in the, yes, if you're talking about that in the names, yeah, it does. It randomizes all the, like, or it, it, it'll adjust, like, the names and stuff, which is pretty funny. A route or B route? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know, that's that's a good question. Oh, his weapon type? Oh yeah, I don't know. That's a good that's actually a good question. I would assume not. But yeah. Well I don't know, because this is randomized, and the binding blade is another Lord specific weapon, so maybe. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. That's that's a good question. Yeah. Uh I don't know what the better route is to go for our purposes. We have no clue what the units are, so I can't you know, base it off of that. Yeah, does anyone have a preference on a route? I mean, it's it's like pretty irrelevant, right? We have no clue what, uh, what the units are gonna look like. Oh, all these units are so bad. I don't wanna bring Garrett because, oh no, yeah, because I don't want him to die even though he's actually kinda strong. Oh, we need we need Ray because Ray Yeah, Ray recruits Shin and then Noah was random Oh, and then Elfin cuz Noah was randomized to Elfin. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly, Wheelie. I'm not sure. I know what you're talking about. I, I'm really not sure. That is a good point, though. It could very well be randomized. I want to bring Chad just because of vision. Jones 5 might. Or 12 might. Does it really only have 12 might? I guess it technically has 17, right? Because it gives, um... Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. I forgot about that. That's the reason... Yeah. That's a great point. So, when you play, uh... Um... Not natural. What, what word? Vanilla. Fire Emblem, set, Fire Emblem 6. The route that you go on, I think, is really dependent on whether or not you want to train Gonzalez. Because Gonzalez will come with the exact same stats, whether you go A or B route. But he's like seven levels higher or something if you go B route. So for our purposes, because we don't know what Gonzalez is gonna be, I probably want to go A because we want to have the chance to train him. I'm curious how the randomizer handles that. I really have no clue. But that is a good point. Oh my God, there's Wyver Wyverns in Fog of War is not a good combo. Let me tell you. Right, we've got an Iron Sword guy. Now, the reinforcements on this chapter do scare me a little bit because we don't know what they're going to be. So I think I want to finish this chapter quickly if I can, but I don't know if that'll be in the cards, obviously. We have no flyer to uh, to abuse this, like, little area here. And these wyverns are actually scary. What's my movement now? Oh, he goes up to eight movement! That's so sick! We haven't seen a, a berserker yet. I didn't know it was going to go up to eight. That's so sick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I can probably kill both Wyverns with Bartry turn one. That's great. That's gonna make this a lot easier for us. Okay. Yeah, the Horse Slayer is terrifying. Or the Horse Slayer is uh, terrifying. The road to hell is paved with Wyverns? True. That's so true. And we have the units we need, right? Because this is the Sue replacement and this is the Noah replacement. Okay. Should be good. Really happy we have a thief here because that vision is going to be so important. I'm curious what, uh. Oh, there were two, uh. Two shamans there. Um. Actually, I could just brave bow. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? Yes, yes, the infinite. Yes. Actually, to be honest, if I find a body ring, unless we want to sell it, I may give it to him to just help out with the weight of it. But that's a good point. So at the moment, I get weighed down by 6, which means I have 16 speed, which isn't, you know, great, but it's not terrible. But that is a good point. If we can, if we can, because there's only times 4 people with the crit chance, my goodness. Well, I thought I was going to be doing this with my uh, <laughs> my newly promoted Berserker, but it turns out that Yodel is just, just a beast. Okay, nice. Strength and speed. The skill's good too, obviously. It's a shame the start to this chapter is such a pain with the... Uh... Oh. Oh, these Wyverns have terrible... Ah, Wyverns having four movement is huge though. Fog of War, uh, Fog of War Wyverns is absolutely terrifying, but four movement makes this so much nicer. It means we don't have to worry too much about them. Because it means we'll, we'll probably see the Wyvern if they're actually, like, able to attack us. Okay, that Wyvern didn't have four movement. Never mind, I lied. What the fuck was that Wyvern got? I guess all Wyverns don't have four movement. Alright, never mind, I'm back to being terrified. Card attacks with high crit, yeah. If we can find any, I definitely will. Okay, I guess all wyverns don't have four movement? That's weird. I thought the movement would be like synonymous with all enemies of that type, but I guess I'm wrong about that. You can probably just kill this guy, right? Can I like wound him a little bit? Yeah. More thieves? I know, these stupid thieves. I hate thieves. Okay. Actually, I should move up Chad first just to get the vision. More thieves. Well, thankfully, Bartree doesn't have anything to steal anymore. And I don't see any wyverns. Which, as we just found out, does not necessarily mean that they're not around, but... 
Stupid thieves. Antitoxin, antitoxin, okay. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Yeah, I think at this stage, Bartree's so insane that I can probably just not waste hits and use the, uh, the Brave Axe pretty liberally. You get a really kill here. Hopefully I don't miss this. Okay. Nine, normally 96, you don't have to worry too much, but you never know. Eight movement Girth Lance uh, uh, Wyvern is pretty terrifying. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to do much training on this chapter. Normally, you can actually do some pretty good training on this chapter once you get past this first sort of wave. But we don't know what the reinforcements are going to look like. I also really need to get Elfin and Ray over there. Okay, there's Kath. Yeah, we did know that Kath was fur. Oh! Wait, are you fur? Yes. <laughs> Heard everything for Scott. Let's go. So fur is Shin. That's weird. <laughs> okay. A little odd. Wait, like, Mrs. If your name is Walt? That's true. That's true. A sick crit. Nice. The good thing is the Brave Axe has good hit. That's really nice. Oh, there's a Wyvern there. I didn't see that Wyvern. Oh no, do I die? No, no, I should have been more careful. Okay, this isn't actually the end of the world, because Kath, I think, did get randomized to a thief, so we have a backup thief available here. Yeah, these eight movement, uh, eight movement Girthlands uh, Wyverns are very scary. I should have been more careful there. I, did, I didn't see him. I guess I, I just missed him on the left side here. I didn't think I saw anybody. But obviously I missed him. That is not good, obviously. But we didn't need Chad for any recruit, because Chad is... I don't know who Chad is, actually. I don't know who he got replaced by, but... Yeah, that is actually the one thing that's now scary, because we don't know exactly where they are. So the thief is going to be really nice in giving us vision. So there is the chance. I think maybe I can lead on Yodel here, and maybe I can... I really wish that I had a torch. Yeah, losing a thief is, is pretty unfortunate. Chad was Shrek? Okay, then that... Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Then that shouldn't be a problem. I'm just going to get a little bit more movement here. Uh, yeah, this is a lot more sketchy now. I think I'm just going to use Bartry to seal off this area. And then maybe I can get Yodel to be the one. Um, because that way, they'll just attack him at one range and he has a bow, obviously. Pegasus Knight with seven movement. Okay. Little scary. Little scary. But what are you going to do? Okay, avoid that guy. I don't want to take unnecessary damage here. I'm a little bit worried about Yodel, but he does have 20 defense, so <laughs> hopefully we're just okay. Yeah, losing that vision is so scary, unfortunately. See, the, one of the big reasons that this chapter makes me so nervous is that if uh, the enemy is... Uh, if the reinforcements get randomized to some kind of flying thing, we can be in really bad shape really fast. That's why I want to finish it really fast. Unfortunately... Well, we'll see. We'll see. God, the, for some reason, every time I play a Fog of War map on one of these randomizers, there's like there's like flyers everywhere. I really wish it would stop doing that. It's not it's not easy. Uh, there's a tile effect. Ooh, I shouldn't get doubled here. This I think is the four movement one. I just didn't know you could get here. No, I don't think it randomizes tile effect. The randomizer actually, I think, can't randomize too many things. Like, it can randomize your units, enemy units, and then, like, weapons. And that's, like, pretty much as far as it can go. There is, like, a thing you can do that randomizes Fog of War. Uh, that seems kind of funny, but... Uh, it says it's, like, a beta thing. I've never done the randomized Fog of War, of course. Uh, that doesn't sound that much fun to me, like... I think if you wanted to make it, like, super random, then the randomized Fog of War. But no, I don't think you can randomize, uh, tile effects. Maybe there's something that can do it, but at least based off the Yune randomizer that I use, I, I... have not seen anything to that effect. Okay, I'm gonna take this bridge. And then Bartry... 
Okay, that's fine. I do want to get this house if I can. Because again, every item is so important considering we're still looking for promotion items. Plays having like 80 avoid, yeah. It would be that would be something. <laughs> I think it'd be cool if it could randomize more stuff, but uh yeah, it's not. Yeah, that would be nuts. That would be nuts. Okay, should be fine, yeah. <laughs> Boy, Bartry is a goddamn critting machine. I love it. It's just funny. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Lord Genesis, so we know we know that Fur is uh, Kath, who's a thief, so she shouldn't. But yeah, that's a good point, because we don't know what Shin is. So if Shin is like an archer himself, but I think Shin will probably be strong enough to not get one rounded by Yodel. But that's a good point. Depending on what Shin gets randomized to, we could we could be in an awkward spot here. <laughs> he just crits everything. Base 42, yeah. It's a shame this is an FE7 where uh, no enemies have any luck, but yeah, it's still funny. Should I just Brave Bow this guy? Let's just Brave Bow him, I don't have to worry about healing or anything. I need to start using my dancers for the units that need to get up here. Not for, uh, not for him. Oh, I should've healed. Oh well. The great thing is we have a dancer, so we're, you know. The really unfortunate thing is that both Elfin and Ray have four movement, which are the two that I need to get up here for the for the recruits. So that part's a little tedious, but I really need to heal Nime. I gotta remember to heal Nime next turn. If there's another Wyvern, she'll get destroyed. Okay, there is Fur. Okay, there's a Wyvern. Okay, here's Fur, who's Kath. She looks kind of whatever, but that doesn't matter. I mean, the, the point is we're going to be, you know. So, Ray is Sue. Can I recruit? One, two, three. Yeah, I should be able to recruit this turn. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just knock this one out right now. Or no, it's Noah. Shit, it's Noah that... I'm stupid. Yeah, it's, it's Elfin that needs to do it. Okay, that's fine. He'll just attack me. That's okay. Or she'll just attack me. Yeah, that's the wrong one. Oh, well. He's fine, it's fine. It's fine, everything's fine. Kinda wish Bertrand had a, a healing item. Horse Slayer, Ugh. Can I get to this? Okay. And then you can still reach me, right? Or is this one of the four movement? It's one of the four movement. He'll probably just continue to follow me. Yeah, let's switch to something that gives me better avoid. I'm a little bit nervous about Bertrand. I guess I may as well take her, uh, or his, uh, vulnerability off so it doesn't get stolen. Okay. It's funny that Kath just looks like Kath, because she's just a normal unit. Okay, I should be able to get the house. It looks like there's not much down there. Like, I just have a horse slayer, which is scary. But he only has four movement, which is less scary. Mm. So... I'm gonna get more vision. I want Yodel to be the one, but I have to dance for... I could wait until next turn. Next turn might actually be better because then Shin might show up. Okay, let me do this. Just in case, just in case something really wacky happens here. Plus Alan, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately the Brave Bow is just really strong and I didn't realize that I could reach him. Welcome Master Bamba. Okay, I did remember to heal Nime, so we don't have to worry about that. I'll heal you, because why not? Okay, I'll just wait until next turn. Because I think Shin will show up, and I should build. I should have a better, uh, 
shot at this next turn. I think. Okay. Let me, um... Oh, did I give him back the Vulnery? Okay, I'm a little stupid. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, reinforcements start on turn... <laughs> I like that this is apparently turn 12. What turn is it? Eight? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to avoid the reinforcements. Show me promotion item. The Ganslance is so ass. <laughs> That's just useless. That's alright though. Okay, give me back my stuff. I'm gonna need to kill this guy. Oh uh, yeah, just Brave Bow. That way I actually don't have to move as far either. Actually, now that I think about it, losing a Vulnerary to Cat doesn't matter, right? Because we're just gonna recruit Cat. <laughs> well, I was hoping that Shin would show up, but... <laughs> Elfin talking to Cat. Okay, here's Shin. Uh, for a lo you know, for a level 5 soldier, those are actually pretty good stats. It's gonna depend on the growth. 40 HP, by the way. Okay, his move is terrible. Yeah, just wait until next turn. We can recruit pretty easily. I don't see anything scary over there. I mean, a soldier's not exactly the kind of unit that I wanted to see. Okay, the boss, Divine looks horrible. 8 might, 55 hit. No crit either. So I'm thinking killing him won't be too bad. Does it weigh any like thing? This guy being randomized to a bishop, by the way, is pretty funny. <laughs> Short bow, iron bow, okay. Another Knight's Chris user? I know. That that's the sad part, but. But soldiers, you know, getting all the um generals appear to be really good with their high movement, and maybe she'll have good growth, fingers crossed, we'll see. Okay. The edgiest vision. Oh, yeah, you're not the person. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's not. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. That's just not how this recruit works. Okay, it's fine. Shouldn't matter. I can dance. <laughs> I don't know why I thought the cat was the one that needs to recruit. Uh, or that, I guess, uh, fur is the one that recruits Shin. That's just not how that works, but whatever. <laughs> Ray! Fur! <laughs> All right, let's take a look at uh, what kind of growths we're working with here. Eight base speed for this type of unit is actually pretty cool. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, oh no, I'm looking at. Wait, what? Okay, let me just do this. That's weird. Oh no, this is... <laughs> I typed in fur, but fur obviously is really close to fire. So... <laughs> I have to scroll through- okay, there we go, fur. Alright. Okay, for a level 5 soldier, 70% HP, 34% strength, not great, 106 skill, 37% speed, okay, 50% luck, but she has base 10, that's not bad, 53% defense and 72% res. Well, I actually didn't notice two, two defense is pretty atrocious. Hmm. Not terrible, not great. The fact that she's a low level with these bases is pretty nice. Yeah, not amazing. Or is it a Nomad? Uh, yeah, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Yodel there. I was just gonna check this guy. 29, yeah. Yodel should be able to hold off these Nomads. But yeah, Ray would've gotten absolutely massacred. Not a terrible unit, not a great unit. I do think, um... That is true, that is true. The promotion defense is nice. I'm gonna move up just a little bit. Okay, it's Thief over there. Now, I do think... The amount of units that we're, like, training at the moment is not particularly high, especially after losing Alan. So while I'm not going to say that I'm definitely going to train Fur, 
I think there's a reasonable chance that I end up using fur a bit, but we'll see. Oh, I should turn on their animations too before I forget. Because like at the moment we're training Bartry, well we've trained Bartry, Yodel, and then Thea. Oh, this is what you meant. Okay. Yeah, I should have listened to you, Flame. This is what you meant. Yeah, my bad, my bad. My B. Oh shoot, does that mean- hold on a second. Does she need to be alive for Sakai? Oh man. I might have messed this up now. Yeah, that was a good call out, Flame. No, she- oh, we can't get the good ending at all now. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, no more good ending for us. No more, uh, no more endgame. Hey, VG fan. Welcome, welcome. Just showing up. No, not yet. Not yet. They're landlock units? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So we do need, we do need Sue alive because the Gaiden chapter, um... The Gaiden chapter for the Sakai route, which you have to do, requires uh, Su Shin and Dian to be alive. Yeah. It's the Gaiden chapter, yeah. That's a bummer. I should, yeah. That's a good call out, Flame. I messed that up. Okay. No more good ending. That's, that's okay. I mean, whatever. Shadow Dragon can be nice. Yeah, after this, after I finish this randomizer, either we win or, or not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll move on to Shadow Dragon. We'll be doing that next. Shadow Dragon, uh, Heart 5. Yeah, no more good endings is kind of a bummer, but I don't know. We'll still be able to experience most of the game. It's not the end of the world. But yeah, kind of sad. Um, where is Thea right now? I don't think I can get her far enough up. Oh, these guys gotta be really fast, huh? 17 speed, yeah. Oh my god, everyone is like so bottlenecked here. It's really annoying. First defense growth? Um, 53%, I believe. I'm sick reverse for. What's uh, what's Lunatic Reverse again? I was planning on just doing the hardest, whatever the hardest uh, uh, mode is. If that's Lunatic Reverse, then yeah, that's the plan. 52? I think it's 53, let me check. Yeah, it's 53. I remember that because it's such a like weird, um, it's such a weird uh, number. Oh, enemies attack first? Is that an option like in the game that you can choose? I don't know if I'm gonna do that. That sounds kind of insane. <laughs> Wait, so what do you mean? So, like, all enemies have vantage? Is that what you're saying? With Lunatic Reverse? That sounds incredible. This isn't defense? Yeah. We'll see. The good news is that she has 40 HP, which obviously helps quite a bit with her bulk. It's a great level up. Should I be my boy Lot? No, that is for sure. Oh my god. I know her defense is bad, but I, I thought she'd take this a little better. Oh, she doesn't get doubled. Okay, that's not that bad. So is is Lunatic Reverse like a thing that you can choose in the game, or is that like a like a mod or something you have to download? The, the one time that I tried to play New Mystery of the Emblem, it definitely wasn't Lunatic Reverse, and I couldn't even get out of the prologue, so <laughs> I'm thinking we probably don't start with Lunatic Reverse, but yeah, I, I don't know. Kind of got to like work through these guys. God, if, if Wyvern starts spawning as the reinforcements, we are like omega fucked. Yeah, it's, it's one more turn. It's part of the game? Oh, okay. Interesting. 
Okay, so then it's at least, it, it was at least, like, intended. Um, I'm afraid there's, like, a mage down here. I don't want to put Douglas over there. I guess I can dance. Yeah, I can dance for you, so we can go, like... Maybe like this. Favorite turn to survive. Yeah, it sounds insane. The enemies always attacking first is like pretty ridiculous. <laughs> See, if there's like a mage down here, Douglas is gonna get destroyed. I'm really worried about that. I guess I could just do this. Yeah, I guess I could just do this. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. This is safer. Yeah, that's fine. It's really whack. Sounds pretty insane. I mean, like I, like I said, the one time I tried it, it definitely wasn't that, and I, I struggled mightily. Oh, shoot. Oh, I just... She's gonna die now. 18, how much defense? Well, oh, if I hit the Nosferatu, she won't die. I can't... For some reason, my brain can't wrap my mind around the... Or wrap its mind around... Wrap its mind? Whatever. The fact that this can get attacked here. Yeah, Wendy could die here. I shouldn't have moved her there. I can't rescue. Oh, well. Phase the yeah yeah that's true an enemy phase the of course of course if we hit Nosferatu we should survive I just have to hit a 75 that's not a reasonable okay we're good unless I get crit there is a 9% crit okay we're good see I knew that <laughs> yeah I think I think we'll start with just the normal um because again I gotta like that, that playthrough is going to probably take a while, because I'm going to have to learn that game. I have played... I played New Mystery of the Emblem once when it first came out, and I played... I've played Fire Emblem 3. Um, so I am sort of familiar with the game, but... I would not call myself anywhere near an expert on it, so... So that, that playthrough is probably going to take a bit of me learning. And yeah, we'll do, maybe if I really like it, or I find, like, the idea of Lunatic Reverse really interesting, we'll try it afterwards, but definitely for a first playthrough, I'll just do the, uh, the normal. I mean, we're already playing on the hardest difficulty in the game, you know? <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, let me get a little bit more vision here. There's a brigand. Just an iron? Okay. Should be fine. I do need to break through here, because I, I need to visit... Is it the one on the right or the left? I'm not, I don't actually remember. Okay, I think I'm just going to start brain bowing people. <laughs> I, need to, I need to get through this nonsense. There is actually a vendor here, but I don't think I want to... ...mess with that. I don't need it for this. Is it an English version of Gaiden? Uh, like OG Gaiden? There's a there's a, a translation patch that you can download. Um, I think they're all on Serenus Forest. Uh, if you just do like. My keyboard's in such an awkward spot when I do this. Uh... Um, okay, here... I don't actually remember what I used. Uh, it was probably this one. But if you want, here's a link to um, a forum in Cernus Forest. And there's a, there's a download for an IPS file. Um, and then yeah, you can get, you can get a, you just need like an IPS, uh, IPS like patcher and a, and a ROM of uh, Japanese Gaiden and you can uh, make it English. I would assume that's the best one. That, that's the one I found and that one was from 2023. So I would assume that's the best one available. But again, I don't remember exactly what I used when I did it, but it was probably that one. It's no problem. Yeah, if you want any any of the um, 
Uh, any any translation patch. I think basically every game. I remember when I was first playing and uh, Thracia had like a really uh... oh, it's a pirate. That's great. Thracia had a really terrible patch. Uh, but even that's been updated quite a bit. It's a lot better these days. So there's all sorts of good patches out there. YouTube guys. Oh yeah, if you have any trouble with um, if you if you just type in like how to patch with IPS, you just need like I can't remember the name of the application, but you just download like a little app that can patch the um can patch the stuff. Oh, this is a little scary. Okay, well the fact that all of the reinforcements are just pirates is so good for us. Because it means we can handle this pretty normally. Poison Axe is two. They're really weak. Okay. Um, I want to get you over there in position. What does this guy have? A Steel Sword? Is that scary for me? Maybe a little bit. Can I just kill this guy? I don't think I die. I might get. Oh, well, that's why I'm. I'm glad that I did that for the as the first thing I did on this turn, because that missing is super important to know. Do you die to the boss? No. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> More speed. Uh, okay, so 26 minus 17. Yeah, even with weapon triangle, because I'll definitely get doubled here, right? Yeah, even even with getting weighed down that much. Um, so I need to. I guess I can just pick you up and then. Yeah, actually, this should be fine. Pick him up and then you come over here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you come over here and then. You do this. This is a little complicated, but making it work. The left house is the one that we want? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I think if you don't visit either house, you get one of the routes, and I think it might be A, but either way, we want the item, obviously, so it's good to know which one we want. Forty-two hits. Hand axe? Okay, hand axes are also pretty weak. I'm just afraid if a Steel Axe guy spawns, because those are actually pretty scary. Unfortunately, these stupid axes have a lot of hits, so... Via can't just uh, dodge tank everything, but that's okay. <laughs> Funny that I have three soldiers. Okay, I have to kill this guy, because he will actually threaten Yodel. A little bit worried about Yodel's 12 health, but I think only the general or the knight can get to him, so shouldn't be bad. If you want to attack Klein, I mean, that's not great, but... This actually feels a lot like the vanilla version of this map, where you get, like, fur and you have OJ and you can use both of them to, like, grind in the pirates pretty effectively. I don't know which house you pick, but whether or not you pick the right house. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why, like, sometimes I just won't even worry about getting a... Well, usually I handle this... I go, this chapter, like, takes me a while, but... Yeah, if you get in either houses, or somehow they... I guess they could get destroyed, hypothetically. You go to that route, which is obviously the one we want. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck. That almost one-shot me. <laughs> That's crazy. If he 10 tier 3, <laughs> he is. He is. That is very true. Um, okay, we need to kill this guy. Probably want some magic for that. I'm gonna help. Yeah. Are you the best Fire Emblem player in the world? No. <laughs> Far from it, in fact. I play a lot of Fire Emblem. I, I would not say that I'm uh, that I'm the best. I don't know, Fire Emblem's kind of weird, right? Because Fire Emblem takes 
If you're talking about like like good Fire Emblem players, like as a game, Fire Emblem takes like uh, like no mechanical skill, so it's kind of interesting to say like if if somebody is like better or worse at Fire Emblem. I never really thought about it, but. I would say yes. All right. Let's just say that I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm certainly okay with that. I would say that somebody that's like really good at Fire Emblem, it takes a lot of like, um, a lot of like attention to detail, you know? Like I have a lot of Fire Emblem knowledge, which, uh, which helps out a lot, obviously. And knowledge is really important. But I think, I think really, really good attention to detail is is really important when playing Fire Emblem. And I don't I don't think I have that. <laughs> I think I'm pretty bad at that in fact. MPP modes. He's the meme. <laughs> I do like to meme. Control the enemy army. Uh yeah, I suppose if you did something like that. Chemical skill. Yeah it does. But like you know one one Fire Emblem player doesn't like, you know, hit A any better than the other one. Now if you're talking about like speed runs, then that takes a lot of mechanical skill because then you need to be able to hit stuff really quickly and at the right time and stuff like that. Uh, I, and I'm not, like, I never I don't speed run stuff, so I'm not the best in the world at that for sure. <laughs> but like base, base fire emblem, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know what you would consider. I don't, I don't know who, yeah, I, w I wonder who, like who in the world is technically like the best fire emblem player. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you decide that. Speedruns, LTCs, yeah. That's a good. That's a, a good way to look at it too, right? Because I don't speedrun or LTC. So like my my only like Fire Emblem skills, if you want to call them that, would rel would like relate to like Iron Man's, which is like keeping units alive and completing the game, stuff like that. But it's gonna be pretty like pretty wildly diff different. Show with attention to detail. Well, I don't. I think I'm okay at it. I think the the thing like if you if you want to be the best at like Iron Manning, it's all about consistency, right? So you need to you need to stay focused for your entire play session. Like let's let's take one example from earlier in the stream, right? Um, there was I put a unit that had a Knight's Crest, which is a really important item I needed, next to a thief because I wanted to fight the thief. Uh, but the thief stole the knight's crest, so I ended up losing it. That's like a, a moment where stronger attention to detail probably wouldn't have lost me that knight's crest. So I think in situations like that, like fire, fire Emblem games are long, especially when you're doing Iron Man's, and being able to stay like consistently focused for that entire time period to never like lose a unit in any like stupid way is really difficult. I think that's a skill that uh, I think not many people are gonna have, and I certainly don't. Or at least not good enough to, you know, like doing an Iron Man without losing a single unit. You know what I mean? Like, that would take a lot of focus. RG manipulation. But there's still mechanical skill in like, oh, okay. One of these pirate reinforcements has a steel axe. That's actually really scary. I think maybe I can't fight this. But it still takes a lot more mechanical skill than like like this doesn't take any mechanical skill what I'm doing, you know. It takes a lot of like like focus and attention to detail, but yeah, Vin. That's why it's so different. We're doing a route. We're doing a route, Vin. Better losing a nice crest than a unit. That's very true. Although I, I also actually funny enough, I also lost a unit. It wasn't an important unit, but I also lost a unit on that chapter because I didn't realize that a mage. Um, it's the right house, right? I, I believe you. Oh, wow, Lord Genesis, I'm really glad you said that. I believe you. I'm just going to make sure really quick. Because I don't want to go to the wrong house. Yeah, B is B is the right most. Yes, okay, I'm really glad you said that. <laughs> Mechanical skill. It does take mechanical skill, yeah. I just mean like, um, like if you're talking about impressive mechanical skill, like, I don't think, I don't think most people would struggle with the mechanical skill that I'm using to play this game right now. You know, you know what I mean? I kind of want to just kill the boss. I, I'm really worried about Thea doing this. Like, th these Steel Axe guys are gonna hit so hard. 
If I get hit by like two or three hits in a in a turn, I could just die flat out. I guess as long as I keep healing, maybe I'm okay. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's weird, right? It's like when you talk about um, when you talk about like uh, like the best player in the world at like Counter Strike, for example. Like there, there's pretty clear like obviously there's you know better people at using a sniper or using a arch or not an archer. <laughs> not thinking of fire emblem again. Um, you know, but you can tell like mechanically like this guy's better than this guy, and there's different skills to the game, of course. But in fire emblem, I think it's tougher to. Uh, It's a lot more like like brain skills, you know. Okay, I guess we're just. I guess I can't finish the chapter. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Bartree, dude. The Lord Village. We yeah, Hollow. We got the Lord. That's what uh, Bartree did to begin with. But that is a good point. Um, but yeah, I got that. Very quickly without hesitation. Yeah, exactly. It's just different, you know. It's different skills. So I could finish the chapter. It is pretty scary for the. Uh, 17. I did get a defense though, so these guys only deal 2 damage. Maybe I'm okay. So 33 minus 14, it'll be 15 actually as a weapon triangle. So that's what. 33 minus 15 is like 18. That's actually not that insane. Actually, I should probably be okay here now that I think about it. Yeah, 18 damage. Okay, I don't love that it hit me. <laughs> it's kind of hoping it would just miss and I wouldn't have to worry about it, but we should be good. I don't think there's any way I die here. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. That's an, that's an interesting uh, conversation. Because Fire Emblem is split into like so many different... different areas. But my... I do think if you want to just judge it on like game knowledge... I mean, everything past like Shadow Dragon, my game knowledge isn't the best, but I, I do have a lot of game knowledge, which really helps in these kind of playthroughs. Yeah, Roy, like like Hollow said, is Douglas, which is funny because he started with uh, capped defense. He had that at level one. <laughs> he's been he's been pretty good. Um, his growths are pretty weak, so I haven't really invested too much in him, as you can see, but yeah, I think we can keep doing this. Oh, there's actually no even steel, uh, steel guy here. If you want to stock up, yeah, we probably should. I wouldn't mind buying a mend. Having one mend floating around, because Willie Green's magic isn't bad, it's not that good, would actually be pretty valuable. How much? What is my money situation? Okay. <laughs> Can I, should I sell this Elfire? Nah, it's actually okay. I don't think I have anything to sell. Let me go through my guys real quick. Gans Lance is pretty useless, to be fair. Our money situation is not spectacular. Yeah. Kinda wish I'd brought some money here. Triple is 10k? Wait, is it? Oh my god! Wait, you're wait, you're right! Should I just sell that? The shortbo is pretty like terrible. It's nice that it's infinite though. It would let me buy some stuff. Maybe I'm kind of thinking about selling that. I'm glad you mentioned that because I did not notice that. 10k is nuts. That's so much money. Points to beard infinite ammo. That is kind of nuts though. I think I might sell that to be honest. Like, even, not necessarily just for right now, but for money later as well. Like, our money situation's not outstanding. I think I'm gonna sell it. I think I'm gonna sell it. I don't know, maybe this is a mistake. But let me buy some more swords, which, we're actually pretty low on swords, and I need those for Thea. Actually, give me, like, five swords, yeah. Um, I'm not really that worried about axes, to be honest, because I have that infinite axe. The hammer has 53 uses, by the way. One of the differences between um, FE6 and FE7, at least to, to me, is that you don't have to use shops as uh, deliberately. I don't know what the word is, but in FE7, there's just not that many shops. So using them when you have the opportunity is really important. But in this game, I feel like there's more shops, so it's not as important. But 
I'm a little worried about this because if there is a Steel Axe guy that I missed, I could die here. Oh, why do I have the Armor Slayer equipped? Oh, I was supposed to trade her off the Armor Slayer. Damn. Is this Steel Axe? No, okay, we're good. Do you like anything on the Fire Emblem? <laughs> Fire players aren't. That's a funny question. Fire players aren't allowed to play anything on the Fire Emblem. Yeah, I, I do like. Uh, I like a lot of other video games. Um, I play some like I like like multiplayer shooters. I play a decent amount of those. I play Pokemon. Uh, I play Age of Empires 2 a decent amount. I like that. Um, so I like a lot of other video games. And then I like uh, I like movies and sports and stuff. But my my passion is Fire Emblem. Have you done a Nuzlocke? Yeah, I've done a, I've done a handful of Nuzlocke's. Uh, I've done a couple Nuzlocke's of uh, base games, like I did. Gen One was my first one, and then I've done a couple other ones. Um, and uh, and then I've done some like I like to do like randomized ones. The Fire Emblem? Battlefield 4. Yes, I love Battlefield 4. Big fan of Battlefield 4. One of my favorite games of all time. Please, Pokemon, but knows nothing about it. Mr. Flame Penguin's projecting. That's fine. You know, that's fine. Like playing or watching sports or both? Um, I played sports a little bit when I was younger, but I'm not, I'm not particularly athletic. I, I watch a lot of um, American sports, like uh, mostly football, American football, and then the NBA. And then I watch a little bit of baseball, and... Uh, I watched the end of, uh, what was that, the, the EuroLeague Championship or whatever? Uh, England versus Spain, but I don't watch a lot of soccer. But yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't actually, like, played a sport in a long time, to be honest. I'm old and out of shape now. Packers, yeah. I like pretty much any, uh, any, uh, Wisconsin sports team is where it's at for me. Bucks, Packers, Brewers. Uh, we have no NHL team or soccer team, so... And then ba the Badgers for, like, uh, college stuff. Those are my favorites. Uh, can I double heal? I probably should. Are there any Steel Axe guys? There is one? Okay. Yeah, I should probably double heal this turn. Just in case. I really don't want- this would be like the worst way to lose Thea. I've actually lost- so in vanilla FE6 you can get a lot of mileage out of um, like either Fur or like OJ or really anyone with a sword on this chapter. Why do you have so much constitution? What's your problem? Uh, by like training them in the same way that I'm training Thea currently. But you gotta be really careful because even low percents can hit sometimes. So it's a pretty- it's a pretty lame way to lose. A unit. Okay, so a green I think is just gonna get attacked by one of these hand axe guys. Which is fine, I think I'll just let that happen rather than rescuing. She won't die, so. Okay, give me like two backup heals. I think we're gonna heal, but and then like one mend. I don't need fire yet. Hopefully we'll get a use a unit that can use fire soon, but not yet. But having just like one men sitting around is so so nice. Because sometimes you really want to heal more than, uh, you know, 18 or whatever she heals on base. What about you, VG, uh, VG fan? Obviously, uh, you like Fire Emblem, I would assume, otherwise you wouldn't be here. But do you like, uh, do you like sports or other video games, or...? What are your passions in life? That was a good level up. We whiffed on strength again, but... We got, uh, she's up to 15 defense, which is nuts, and then we finally got res too, which is cool. She's actually pretty close to promotion. I didn't know she was that close. Yeah, we can promote soldiers. Yep, they promoted a general. Um... Unfortunately, uh, even though we have this soldier that's all ready to promote, or at least close, I got our uh, Knight's Crest still. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome, uh, Brazilian Butt Wax. It's been a while. Hopefully, you've been good. I like basketball and most other Nintendo games. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I'm assuming you play Pokemon. You mentioned Nuzlocke. Um, 
Basketball is cool. Other than American football is is like my favorite sport to watch, but I like uh, I watch a ton of the the NBA playoffs that happened a little while ago. So I do like uh, I do like the NBA. Ooh, okay. I was just about to say that if if he if she crits, it's a little bad, um, because it means she could get hit twice, but she dodged, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay, very nice dodge. That would have been a little scary. If she'd gotten hit by both of those, she would have died. Obviously, the percent there is pretty low, but you never know. Two souls laughing all the way back to his country. I'm pretty sure he got murdered right after. <laughs> you would think I could just pick up the, the hero's crest after I murdered him, but... Is Lizoxide because I like the challenge. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a very similar boat. I, uh, um, you know, when I was younger, I played both Pokemon and Fire Emblem a ton, and I didn't, uh, I didn't Nuzlocke or Iron Man, and then I started doing it, and it's, yeah, it's been tough for me to go back. It, it adds so much, uh, to me, it adds so much to the challenge. Although I've actually been playing, so I've actually been playing a decent amount of Pokemon lately. Not as a Nuzlocke, though. There's a hack called uh, Radical Red. Um, which is really, it's like Gen 1, but it has all the Pokemon available, and it's just like a lot more difficult. Like the teams of the enemy trainers and stuff are like, you know, have EV trained and IV trained Pokemon and stuff. Um, so I haven't been Nuzlocke in that, but I've been doing that normally, and that, that's been a lot of fun. I've been doing these uh, these type runs where I use only one type, and, uh, and that's been a lot of fun. I did... Uh, I did a was I did an ice one and then a fire one and then a dragon one that was pretty cool. And the one I'm gonna do next is a grass one. So I've been enjoying that quite a bit, no, but not as a nuzlocke. But I feel like that offers enough challenge to me, um, where I don't need to nuzlocke it. Well, Thea is just bathing in experience right now. I did not realize she was that high of level. We do have a Hero's Crest for Thea, so if she does get to 20, um, we are good to go. So we're gonna have weird stats. Yeah, some some Pokemon, I, I like, one of the cool things about Radical Red is like, I'm not really that into like competitive Pokemon, so they use a lot of teams and stuff and like, um, that are more like competitively viable, so it's, it's cool to see. What's a Nuzlocke? A Nuzlocke is, it's kind of similar to a Iron Man in uh, Fire Emblem. Basically you, um, if a Pokemon dies, you release them, and you can only catch one Pokemon per route. Um, so you have like a finite amount of Pokemon throughout a playthrough. And then uh, and then there's some other stuff you can add, like a lot of people do. You can't use items in battle. Um, and you can make it harder or easier, but the, the basic rules are, are you can only catch one Pokemon per route, and uh, if a Pokemon dies, you release it. Throw own Pokemon to basic. Sort of physically, yeah. Yeah, some Pokemon are, are pretty wacky for sure. Do you will need more swords? Yeah, I bought um, five new iron swords. So, we should be good. Although, I don't think... Oh, I have one right now! Hey, that's perfect! <laughs> Glad you mentioned something. Perfect. Yeah, it can be, it can be very challenging. For sure. For sure. I would say it's a lot harder than an Iron Man. For, for sure. Like, in an Iron Man, as long as you're playing, like, you know, as long as you, you could just, well, this is a stupid way of putting it, but as long as you don't have characters die, an Iron Man is at least kind of how, like, Fire Emblem games are intended to be played. Nuzlocke's can be really tough, really challenging. Person use a death box? I do too, yeah, I never actually released the Pokemon. It's cool to, I understand that it's like, it's like, uh, it's nice to, you know, hit the release button, but I like death box quite a bit because, uh, you get to, like, check out how many uh, Pokemon have died and stuff. Yes, sorry, that's a, that's a good point, Vin, and I, I did not specify that. It's not just that you can only catch one Pokemon per route, it's the first one you encounter. So it's it's got a little bit of kind of random element to it. You don't just, like, decide what Pokemon you want from a route and then go grind for it, or... Hey, Blue Island. Brody James... Dude, people are obsessed with, uh, Brody James winning that, uh... <laughs> Brody James white goat. So apparently... 
Bronny James, LeBron James' son, and uh, future NBA uh, uh, Hall of Famer, of course, uh, apparently won a Call of Duty <laughs> tournament <laughs> during the Summer League, which is really funny. I've seen that in so many different places. Ooh, don't crit, don't crit. Oh, if she dies, I'm gonna feel so bad. The chance of this happening has gotta be like so low, right? I believe the Steel Axe guys move first. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, we should just get out of here. I should, I should stop tempting fate. I know the chances of her dying are like minuscule, but I should stop tempting fate. As if the, as if the player had occasionally hit the face of. Oh, I didn't. I didn't actually know where Nuzlocks came from. I just knew what they were. You know, everything to keep LeBron. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, I'm not. Yeah, it, it it makes sense from their perspective because they want to keep LeBron. That's actually a good point, Lord Genesis. I think that's the last one. Yeah, we actually we actually should be good here. As scary as that was, there's there's no way we can uh, we can die. Yeah, that was the last Steel Axe guy. We should be good. We should be good. I'm really excited to see uh, Bronny. Uh... I saw so some stat line from the Summer League that was uh... <laughs> obviously not great. But hey, if you want to keep uh, if you want to keep uh, Big Poppy LeBron on your team, you gotta grab his son. Two points, baby. Oh yeah, the the stat I saw was he's he's O from 15, I think, from three in the summer league so far. <laughs> Which you know, it's not like a three pointer is important in uh, today's NBA or anything. <laughs> it's a recruitment requirement for the good Lakers ending. That's really funny. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> yeah, they're still on track for the uh, for the good ending. They get to see. Uh, they get to go past Zephiel at the end. One of his closest friends to coach. Oh, that's true. I forgot they. Yeah, I forgot they grabbed JJ Redick as their coach. God, the Lakers are gonna be. I mean, they're always a shit show, but they're gonna be quadruple single. <laughs> he had a triple single. Yeah, that is that is gonna be quite quite the team going into next year. The burn the Bernston Celtics, yeah. Exactly. If you wanna get past the uh if you wanna get past the Celtics and go to the true ending of the NBA, you gotta you gotta <laughs> you gotta recruit uh Ronnie. Tony Yoko has amazing stats. Got that Rolf syndrome? Maybe. I'll say this, as funny as it is, and it's super funny, what did they it wasn't the first round, right? They just used the second round pick on him. I mean, the chances of a second round pick developing into anything is like extremely small. So, I don't, th I don't think it was actually that big of a deal. It's just really funny. <laughs> Him winning a Call of Duty tournament is just—it's just so funny. I love that for him. Printed three years guaranteed. I mean, you know, a team I love, the uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. I know that, you know, they got a lot of comparisons to this, but I mean, the Bucks have basically done that with Giannis's brother like the entire time. So I can't really say, as a big fan of the Bucks, I can't really say that the Lakers are like stupid or anything. And it's worked out for them. I mean, we got a championship. And even though Giannis keeps getting hurt, he's you know one of the best players in the league. So. <laughs> you get that esports bag and that actual bag too, dude. You gotta respect that. Electric <laughs> Boogaloo Star Bronny. I kind of hope Bronny's just like nuts. I don't know. I feel like it would be, it would be pretty funny. I doubt it, but you never know. There's some, uh, there's some picture I saw of somebody dunking, and 
underneath him dunking, or maybe he's just doing a layup, I don't know, but you can see Bronny's face, it's just, uh, he's just too easy to beam, unfortunately. More strength, we love that. Strength and skill, wow, really good for a dancer. Do you see the, the scallenge? No, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, okay. Let's kill this guy. Let's see. Oh! You know, when you said that, I was thinking of Scalabrini, but I, I was like, I wonder if that's Scalabrini. Yes, I have seen the, uh, I have seen the Scalage. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. The, the White Mamba, dude, my goat, Ryan Scalabrini. Yeah. That was the, that was where, like, like, he played against, like, average Joes, right? Or who thought that they could, like, beat him or whatever. What is- what's Scalabrini's famous quote? It's like, I'm closer to... Oh shit, what is it? I'm closer to Kobe than you are... I'm closer to Kobe than you are to me, or whatever. My goat, dude. I'm closer to Kobe than you are to me. Hillbilly Co- Hillbilly Kobe. I never heard that one before. Oh, Billy Kobe. The worst. Yeah, exactly. And he's right. He's completely right. He is closer to Kobe than 99% uh, than of people are to him. Oh. Wait. Okay, that's a terrifying Wyvern Lord. A little scary. Oh, yeah. People are ridiculous. Anybody that truly thinks that they could, like, take on a, an NBA player in, like, a, you know, 1v1 or whatever, I don't think so. Okay, the boss is NordVPN. Uh, let's take a look at everybody. So it looks pretty normal to me. Yeah, this guy's a bit scary, although Iron Swords aren't that strong, so it's actually not that bad. And we have our, our double bow guy, or uh, brave bow guy for him, so not the end of the world. We haven't seen a Sword River yet. Plus five luck, okay, but it only has two might, so yeah, that thing's pretty useless. Okay, doesn't look too bad. You can beat certain animals in a fight when fold. If anybody says that they can beat like a bear in a fight, they're they're insane. They need to have their mind checked. I don't know what animals I could beat in a fight. Anything that's like. A lot smaller than me. I could probably beat in a fight. Ooh, good point. Yes, we want Garrett here. We want Garrett here because we want to recruit a Gonzalez. A lot better than oh, for sure, Bronny. Yeah, whoever the whoever the like best player is at your like local rec league, Bronny would absolutely destroy. Hundred percent. Normal competition. Yeah, exactly. You should lose to Clara. <laughs> I mean, that is accurate. So I, uh, one of my friend's cat's name is Clara, and uh, yes, I would, uh, I would get absolutely destroyed by Clara. Actually, there's a cat named Peaches that uh, lives basically outside my house. He would, he would destroy me. I've seen him eat mice, so he would mess me up. I don't want the Twitch cops on me. <laughs> Definitely defeat a chipmunk. Yeah, I could probably fuck up a chipmunk. Although he'd just run away from me and then I get tired, but. Yeah, what level is he at the moment? I could probably fuck up a squirrel. Squirrels are pretty stupid. I feel like I could fuck up a squirrel. Maybe not. Maybe not, though. Peaches. Yeah, Peaches would fuck me up. Peaches is, Peaches is a stone cold killer, let me tell you. At least with, at least with, um, Clara, and at least with some, like, house cats, you know, like, maybe they never killed anything? Now nah, this cat living outside of my house? Yeah, he'd, he'd fuck my day up. That's true, I'd fuck up some ants. I would fuck- actually, most bugs. Most bugs. I've, I feel like I could beat most bugs. Maybe not, like, some poisonous ones, I would just, like, trade with them, but... All the way at the bottom? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, this guy's this guy's dog shit. He's only the 
out of the entire world, he's only the, you know, 500 best, the 500 best, uh, best person at doing this one thing. Like, what? Some people call, like, people in the NFL bums, because they, like, like these quarterbacks that come from uh, college and then they struggle in the NFL. It's like, okay. I mean, that's true. Like, it'd be better if they were better, but they're, yeah, you are nowhere near them. G League player. Oh, there might be. I'm not sure. Bottom <laughs> bottom NBA players. Woo. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know about Fire Ants. They'd fuck me up. Scrolls are fast. Scrolls are fast. But I don't I feel like a squirrel couldn't do enough damage to me to. You know what I mean? Like, I maybe I just never catch a squirrel. But if the squirrel wanted to fight me, I feel like he wouldn't be able to do enough damage to me, you know? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe maybe a scroll will fuck me up. All right, the most important thing. I really wish that I had brought with me another hand axe, but whatever. One of the most important things about this chapter is getting a little bit of space in this uh, in this early area. So I'm gonna have Barcher go. Go out and get me some space. <laughs> Here's Crest gets stolen. Okay, so there's a thief here, and I think that's okay. There's currently one thief. Thief alert! There's one thief on the chapter. <laughs> I am a pro at this point of getting shit stolen, so I should probably be uh, cognizant of that. That leaked locker room for Wait, what did, what did you do in the locker room? What's Anthony Davis got going on? Is it on a forest tile? Oh yeah. If he's on a forest tile, yeah, I'm, I'm never, I'm never hitting a, hitting an attack on him, that's for sure. But in, in an open fight, if neither of us have access to, you know, a fort or a forest tile or a throne, oh my god. Can you imagine a, a squirrel on a throne? You're never hitting that little guy. But devoid of all of that, I feel like I could take a squirrel. I feel like I could take a squirrel. Dude, Lot has missed so many attacks. Sandy the Squirrel? Nah, yeah, she'd fuck me up. She's from Texas, dude. She'd fuck me up. Oh, that's true. I thought there was only one unit on this chapter, but that's- I always forget about geese. Because who cares about geese? But yeah, we get two new chap- or, uh, two new characters here, which is very cool. <laughs> Doctor Doom and Thanos have both lost. Have both lost against Squirrel Girl. Is Squirrel Girl a real? Ca I gotta look up Squirrel Girl now. Squirrel Girl. Oh yeah, this is this is a person. The unbeatable Squirrel Girl in two minutes. Marvel LT, L, uh, TLDR. So she just summoned squirrels? There was the character in that, uh... What was it? The new, um... Suicide Squad movie that was like... She was like a rat girl. She like summoned rats. Rats- Oh, rats would eat me up. Yeah, I'd get fucked up by rats. Did it lift at anchors? Yeah, I wouldn't want to fuck with Sandy. Does they make her, like, unbeatable? Yeah, Sandy- Sandy would fuck my shit up, that's for sure. Wouldn't want to mess with Sandy. I wouldn't want to mess with SpongeBob either, to be honest. He's like an animated sponge. Or Patrick. Actually, yeah, anyone from the SpongeBob universe. Okay, what do I want to do here? Maybe Steel Sword? I guess, what's the up to 16 defense? Yeah, 16 defense is pretty good. I'm just trying to figure out. Like, hypothetically, what I could do... I wonder if this is any, there's any way this works. I don't know, let's just do it. I'll deal with the consequences later. Wow, I don't fight that guy well at all. This guy's a million health. I still have the Horse Slayer, don't I? That'll work. That'll work. See the link in the footage. AD essentially literally gets... Locker room. Regular <laughs> skirts, I love it. Are they naked on the floor? Okay, interesting. Nothing wrong with that, you know. A little weird. Maybe I wouldn't be doing that in the locker room, but... Is this too dangerous? Ugh, I feel like this is pretty dangerous. 
Well, hold on. This guy's a steel bow. This guy's an iron bow. I can kill that guy. I can dance for somebody. I can kill this. Let's see if let's see if this hits. Let's start here. Where was it? Actually, I want to. A one-off character that saves Iron Man from Doctor Doom. She just got back. She got her own comic runs. So what is she? She just controls squirrels. Is that is that what she's? Uh... I mean, it's in the name, of course. But uh... do I have a? Um... I'm gonna give you a Girth Lance because it's gonna help out. Actually, I can have you give the Girth Lance. Does anyone need healing? Everyone's like pretty full health, right? Here, let me dance for you. That's funny. Old squirrel girl. Okay, I guess I can't do that. Well, whatever. Do whatever you want. That is true. Sponge SpongeBob is very weak. SpongeBob is very weak. Can't even lift up Q-tips. But I don't know. I don't think I want to fuck with a animated sponge. Okay, so the plan for this turn is to, well, kill this guy. One short, really? That's a bummer. What about this guy? Okay. Don't miss another AD, please. Thank you. So the plan is to get uh, Bartry to that next choke, so I don't have to worry about um, the units. He just got every stat. <laughs> Man, I'm so sad I got rid of that Knight's Crest. Uh, yeah, we'll take this choke. Um, actually, the Wyvern might be able to get to me. This was a crazy durable. Yeah, I feel like you can never beat SpongeBob, because you can't kill SpongeBob. But I should be able to take this well. I mean, I do have 22 defense. I'm not really worried about him. Okay, let's kill this guy. Yeah, we should be good. I'm going to leave one archer, I think, alive at the end of this, but that's okay. God, Yodel's HP is also, like, pretty ridiculous. Oh, Yodo's level- shit, I didn't- Damn, our units are actually getting really high levels, I'm not even noticing. We do have an Orion's Bolt for Yodel, I didn't bring it, but we do have the promotion material for him, so I could promote him. Getting strong promoted units for next chapter is actually pretty useful, because next chapter can be a little sketchy, depending on what stuff gets randomized to. Or Spongebob fought Aquaman? <laughs> who, who won? <laughs> SpongeBob versus Aquaman. Damn, sick double crit. Can Aquaman control SpongeBob? Can he control like all like sea life? Does SpongeBob count as that? Oh my god! Thank goodness Garrett has a bunch of health. Well, the good thing is, we handle flyers extremely well, because Yodel is insanely broken. Yeah, just take him out. Sponges are indeed sentient underwater. <laughs> Can't argue with that. So how much res do I have? 10? I need to heal, or I need to kill one? I probably need to heal. Does anyone have better res? No. Let's res is 17? Okay, I can, yeah, let's have Lot do this. Wait, can I get there? Yeah, I should be able to get there. Let me heal Lot first. We want an Aquaman SpongeBob crossover movie. That'd be pretty dope. I'd watch that. Two, three, four. I'd watch that. SpongeBob and Aquaman have to save the world. I mean, it makes sense. They're both, you know, underwater. Squirrel Girl's bio has her at maxed out stats. So what does what does Squirrel Girl uh, do, Vin? Does she does she just control squirrels, or does she have like powers of her own other than that? I mean that's a power, obviously, but 
What, what is Squirrel Girl about? Like, how did she beat Thanos? Did she just send squirrels after him? Is it like the thing in, uh... In Rick and Morty where squirrels are like... They, like, own the... The world or whatever? It'd be really cool if we could promote lot. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool, guys? That'd be pretty neat. Squirrel Girl. Let's look at her Wikipedia. Let's see what Squirrel Girl's got going on. Squirrel Girl is a superheroine appearing in yada yada yada. What does she do? Oh, it's more lighthearted. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, here we go. Doreen was a genetically genetic anomaly, which gives her the ability to communicate with squirrels. She's been a member of both the Avengers and the Great Lakes Avengers. I don't know what that is. Uh, and has been a supporting character in stories Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. So yeah, that's just that's her whole power. She just controls squirrels. Okay, fair enough, <laughs> fair enough. That is a power. I I definitely can't do that, so... Yeah. It's definitely impressive. That's all she needs, <laughs> apparently. Uh, how scary is this? There's another mage, there's this guy, man. All these magic users. Needs to speak with fish. Isn't Aquaman like super strong though? I thought Aquaman was like was like really strong. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Killing factor, scroll communication, claws, and bite leaping. Damn, she got all sorts of stuff. She's loaded. I guess if you're gonna be the strongest, uh, the strongest character in the Marvel universe or whatever. I don't really know that much about Aquaman, I guess. I mean, other than that, that movie they made. I'm not really an expert. Um, I probably should just dance. Well, it's the, I probably should just dance for Thea, right? Like, her res does stink. Yeah. Unfortunately, magic's actually pretty strong in this, so our high, our high defense, low res units do not handle it particularly well. Squirrel girl. But this is Marvel, right? So her last... What is her name? It's Doreen what? It's gotta be something with a D, right? Oh, it's not. Doreen Aline... Oh, Doreen Aline Green. Okay, it is. Doreen Aline Green. Nice. Aline Green Fight Machine. She wants to save the planet by convincing Galactus not to eat it. What a badass. She even she even uh, strives for peaceful resolutions to conflicts? My god. Although to be honest, when when you're gonna get mauled by squirrels if you don't uh, if you don't comply, you know. Can I be real here? I think so, yeah. I believe you can. Original character is very silly. Oh for sure, for sure. For sure. Oh, hi, Cecilia. The Nomad. Actually, if this Nomad's good, it might not be that bad, because we do have an extra Ryan's Bolt. So they're not very good bases, but you never know. Douglas talking to Cecilia actually makes sense. Actually, this is our first longbow. Okay, it's a bra it's brave, but two might is pretty atrocious. That's when I was informed, oh, about what happened? Yeah. Yeah, my man. I shouldn't, I mean, it was, yeah. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Unfortunately, that happened. Okay, growths. Ooh, actually, wait, these growths. 
Okay, 78% HP, 53% strength, 106% skill, 83% speed. Those are really good offensive growths. 75% luck, 11% defense. Really bad. 46% rest. Not bad, actually. I mean, she's frail, but her HP growth isn't bad. I mean, level 10 Nomad with those bases is, like, pretty bad, but... Actually, actually not a terrible unit. That That is... Again, we have a promotion item for her. Um... Oh, four move. Oh, you're right. That's a killer. I didn't check how much Nomad Troopers have, so I don't know. That is a killer, though. Okay. It's still an interesting unit, though, because we have the promotion item. And again, her gross are quite good. But yeah, that that is a killer. Four movement's really bad. There's a fern animation on the events that took place. Like an animation with a fern? Or, like, was Trump a fern? Squeezes out in three days. Yeah, that, uh, that situation's not great. That, uh... Because all the nerfs to Widowmaker? True. True. Although Widowmaker still has her one-shot. To be fair. I guess she's not a good Widowmaker. I do wonder, not not that I, I wanted the sniper to hit, of course, you know, I don't want people to die, but I do wonder how you miss in a situation like that. These animations about events and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, I never heard of that, but... Interesting. Stuff with patterns. No, I didn't even know they were doing it. I actually, um... My, it's funny, my friend wanted to play Overwatch yesterday, but I, just, I really didn't watch, so I ended up playing X Defiant. But uh, I actually I saw I saw somebody that playing Hog that was doing that, and I actually kind of wanted to check it out. I might check it out actually. Dude was rocking Iron Sights. <laughs> Rookie mistake. He didn't unlock. He has to. Well, that's the thing. You have to get kills, you know, in order to uh, in order to unlock attachments, and he just had none. <laughs> Jesus Christ. bad shot. Oh, really? It'd be a danger- oh my god. That's very ironic. I mean that- yeah, that whole situation. Super messed up. It's been a crazy week. Yeah, it's not great. It's not a great situation. He said he did hit someone. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Although I can't imagine he was aiming for the other person. It's full swing next week. I know, dude. I I wish I wish we were just past November to be honest. This is this is gonna be such a mess. I mean, as it was four years ago and four years before that. Impossible speed growth. What is what is Garrett's speed? Yeah, what is the speed growth? So he's Lelina. Oh, that was a 62. Okay. If he gets skill, now we have to question something. Druids have different moves. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know why. Because everyone else seems to have a pretty flat movement. I wonder if there's a difference between these like wyverns. This one is a higher level. I don't know. Because, yeah, they, they do have different movement. I don't know why. Like, everyone else seems to keep the same movement, like, class-dependent, but for some reason they don't. I'm not really sure why. What do you have? Iron Lance. Female Wyverns, maybe. But they... Wouldn't they look different? Or maybe there's no difference with female Wyverns? That would make sense. I think that being female Wyverns would make sense. I'm just not sure. But that, that was my thinking, it just, it, they don't look any different, but maybe there is no different look between male and female wyverns. I guess, I guess Milady doesn't really look any different, huh? So maybe there's just, maybe that's, maybe that is the case, it's female and male, and they just don't look different. That would make sense. That would make sense. I think 
think you are probably correct. It's too strong. Because, yeah, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think there's... Because they have a helmet on, right? So you don't see, like, hair or anything. So there is no difference between male and female wyverns. Wow, we've actually cleared out this entire chapter pretty effectively. We're actually getting to the point where we have, we have a pretty strong team, to be honest. I shouldn't say that, because... You never know what's around the next corner, but... Feeling pretty good about our, our units at the moment. Yeah, Gonzalez hasn't even shown up yet. Oh, it's Noah! Ooh, Noah the Pegasus Knight? Wait... Okay, that's really good, because we have an Elysian Whip. So if this guy isn't dog shit... Oh my god, he doesn't look dog shit at all! Okay, okay. We might be cooking here. And Garrett's in position, that's good. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Now, bases look great. His growths could still ruin it, but... I do like what I'm seeing, at least out of the beginning. Uh, out of the beginning a little bit. Can you grab this house for me? Knight's Crest, Knight's Crest, Knight's Crest. Another sure Honestly, that's not that bad, because it's infinite, and we can sell it for, a, like, a ton of money if we want. So I'm not going to complain about getting that. Although I would much rather have a Knight's Crest or a Guiding Ring. Man, we've yet to see a Guiding Ring. I would love a Guiding Ring. That doesn't go... Blurdy Rabbit, yeah. I feel like it's only going to get worse. I don't know. We'll see. I just try to avoid it, to be honest. It is what it is. Okay, I guess... Oh, is that Wyvern? How much move it? Okay. Wait, that might actually be... Shit. Wait, he just moved in like the worst... No, he just moved in like the worst spot! Why did he go there? Why did he go there? Oh, no. That's annoying. You know, I was thinking that maybe I shouldn't have put Bartry over here because it was going to lure him that way. And I wanted him to come, like, here. Come on, man. That's so annoying. And my dancer's out of position, even with all her movement. <sighs> man. Well, the good thing is that he has a javelin. So it's very likely, I think, that he'll just attack somebody. Um... Well, I think, yeah. I think he'll just find someone to attack at range, which should be fine for us. God, that's so annoying. Oh, my God. Of course he goes there. Okay, I'm going to heal you just in case. Now, I need to make sure he can't kill anyone, of course. No, he gets weighed down a ton. As long as as long as long everyone can take one hit, we should be okay. Which I think everyone should be able to. Actually, can I get on this? Nah, I can't kill. Okay, come down here. I'll fight you. I think everyone should be able to take at least the one hit. He'll probably just attack. He'll probably just attack E Green, to be honest. Which is fine. Obviously. Like, there's no way he can double. Because he gets way down to one speed, which it just isn't enough to double. So, should be good. No, don't stay. You little wiener. <laughs> I should have put fur there. I, sh I sh That was. Okay, but the dancer is in position now, so I should be able to get the recruit. God, you little motherfucker! <laughs> what is your issue? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me turn his animation before I forget. Alright, so obviously these bases are really, really strong for a level 5 unit. Just like normal Gonzalez. Now the question is... What are his growths? Please tell me good growths. Oh, okay. Okay. 110% HP, great. 8% strength, not so great. But 70% skill, 98% speed, 98% luck, 26% defense, 28% uh, res. Those are both pretty low. And his strength growth does suck, but 12 base strength is pretty good. And he has good speed, skill, growth. 
I do think he's usable. Body ring? Yeah, the Stunlets I think weighs like 9 or something. He probably does need a body ring. I, I think he's usable. I think the 8% uh, strength growth is obviously um, atrocious, but I do think he is usable. Uh, which is good. Which is good. When did the reinforcements start in this chapter? I should check this before I get destroyed here. Oh, the fighters don't spawn until chapter or until turn 13. Oh, wow, not for a while. Okay. We can. Ooh, sorry, turn on the speed up. We can just sit on these uh, on these forts. I don't need to like let the reinforcements spawn. I don't know what they're gonna be. I'd rather not find out if I don't have to. Let's kill this guy. Ooh, that's a good point. Did he, he have a seven movement? I didn't actually check. Ooh, seven movement is great. Yes, that is a great point. Oh, I should have killed the one with more movement. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, seven movement's fantastic. That is gonna be really nice for us. I wonder if there's any way that Thea can kill the boss. What level's Thea? 18, okay. I'd love to promote Thea for the next chapter. That would be huge. We can make that happen. Because you guys will get answer breakable walls on the next map. That's true. That is true. I was I was slightly nervous I got doubled there. I was I was pretty sure there was no way, but I'm always a little nervous when a character could die like that. No, we're good. Yeah, in fact I double. Even the clips against the boss. I would assume not very good, but I, I can check. I can check. Yeah, we can definitely eclipse walls next next uh, chapter. Now No, that's right, okay. Because I, I was thinking, because earlier I remember we lost the clearing replacement, but then you guys said that you don't need clearing for Klein, so we're good on that. Defense is crazy, I know. Well, that thing has 21 might, that horse slayer that he's using, so. Oh, that's a sword reaver. Okay, let's not fight that guy. At least with Thea. No, but that is a good point. The fact that that guy deals that much is incredible. Actually, 29 hit is not the worst. <laughs> I think, I'm, I'm down to try. <laughs> Now, depending on what Thea gets randomized to and what um, Klein get, gets randomized to, the next chapter... Actually, Echidna being randomized is going to be really important, too, because Echidna can die on the first turn really easily. So... Oh, you two can support? I don't even know who you two are. <laughs> but apparently you can support. No more Trisha Whisker going around you. <laughs> oh, come on, big man. I haven't died yet. I can crush anything with these massive arms. Okay, I think she might be way. <laughs> come on, big man. Yeah, I think she's Wade. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, the four movement guy again. When do these um when do these uh, reinforcements stop? Turn 12? I think that's pretty much where we are. Oh, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, whatever Lalum gets randomized to, that's a good point. We're gonna be seeing that. And like you said, that's a level 1 unit, so... Could be great. Thea also gets uh, hard mode bonuses, so does the Klein replacement. And Echidna's a pre-promote, so we could, we could end up with some really cool stuff on the next chapter. Depending on what it all gets randomized to. That is a good point. We love level 1 units. Gives him a lot of room to uh, to improve. Oh, he's level 20. <laughs> Stop getting strength. Uh, whatever. Yeah, honestly, FE6 is so much fun to do this randomizer with. Because the cast is just so huge. You, like, always get in a unit to get to look at. Super fun. Alright, Lot, you're gonna have to fight this guy, because again, I do not want to do it with uh, Thea. There's no way I get doubled, right? I do get weighed down now, there's no way.
<laughs> I brought fur, but she has yet to do anything on this chapter. <laughs> oh, I did not- okay. I did not mean to hit this guy. I wonder if Thea can fight the boss. <laughs> it hit him! That would be the first time I've ever seen uh, Eclipse hit anything. Twenty nine is pretty rough. Oh! oh, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> we might be cooking. We might be cooking. Uh, yeah, I'll do that next turn. Hold on. <laughs> That's really funny. Eclipse is broken. Turns out. Oh wow, this thing sucks. <laughs> I was definitely just thinking that would just never hit. Need me bog, indeed. That's really funny. Okay, can you deal damage? 28, you don't have that much defense, right? Yeah, I should be able to kill. I'm gonna need a little dance, but... Nime Gaming. Nice, okay, perfect. I still need one more level to get to 20, but that's okay. I mean, I guess I could just promote her. She is, like, pretty ridiculous. But I think I'll wait. I don't think I'm in, like, pressing need or anything. Oh, I don't have the... That's okay, both these guys' movement's terrible. So what level is Yoder? 18? Okay. And then she's 19. Well, lot doesn't matter because I can't promote. Okay. You know what I wonder? I wonder if the items that you get from the next chapter are randomized. Like the ones you get for keeping certain units alive. Like if you keep- so in the next chapter, if you keep all of the villages alive, you get a Hero's Crest. If you keep all of Klein's units alive, you get an Orion's Bolt. And if you keep all of uh, Tate's- or Thea, Tate, whatever, uh, units alive, you get an Elysian Whip. And I wonder if that's randomized. How this the next chapter can be? Yeah, I wonder if I should just do it. I should probably just do it. Yeah, I should probably just do it. That's a good point. Let's just become a hero, make Thea really strong. I'll get some res too, which is nice. I think I'm okay with Yodel not promoting, because he didn't really get that much from it, but... She's up to 20 defense, which is ridiculous. And she goes with a 7 movement. I was curious what the movement was going to be. 7 movement's great. I really like that. Yeah, I mean, those stats are obscene. <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay, I think I will seize this turn. Yeah, I think... Maybe I should promote Yodel, I, but I don't even have the promotion item. I'll give it to him next chapter, and then we'll decide on the chapter what we want to do. Okay, let's get out of here. Three rounds to go, I know. I know. Oh, see, because that... So, interesting, that's not randomized. You're supposed to get that Worm Slayer. So, I'm curious if the promotion items next chapter will be. <laughs> you can hardly believe Boar's account, okay? Uh, okay, well, this is the where, where I'm going to end the stream for today. I guess we can at least look at the enemies. Orlo is a berserker. Oh, those stats are incredible. Um, okay. Let's save... Like the Worm Slayer? Actually, that is something I'm curious about. Eh, not too bad. The effective damage will make it stronger, obviously. Now... Uh, here, enjoy, enjoy our busted Thea for a second. We did have, now remind me if I'm wrong, but I believe there was only one death, and that was Clarine. I don't think anybody else died, but I could be wrong. I know Clarine died, because she died almost immediately. <laughs> so let me, let me grab her for the old death counter. Ray, okay, good point, Ray, yes, 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 yes. 
Ray is also deceased. Good call. Ray is also deceased. Ray, who had some of the worst growths I've ever seen a <laughs> character have. I think this is it. God, this Thea is ridiculous. Okay, well, anyways, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, this is a really fun stream, to be honest. We promoted some units. We got some some good new units. Always fun. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. So, enjoy your nights. Thanks for watching, and I will see you then.